And this is Redbeard, and on this adventure, I use my Olmax tire changing tool for the first time. Uh, before we get into changing this, uh, you can see I got the, all the air out now. And you can see how much more it's worn in the middle than on the sides. So this tire should have a lot more life left in it. I have uh, 21,500 miles on it, uh, which isn't too bad. But you can tell I ran it overinflated. So I ran this at 41 PSI all the time. I mean, that's what the motorcycle tire took off of it was in, was supposed to be. That's the spec. And so I did the same thing with this one, but that was not the right idea. See how it's so worn here, it's down to the wear bar or maybe even further. And then over here, it's still got plenty of tread left. All right, so I have, I have never used this before. Um, so we'll try this out. I gotta take this center cap out first. Don't lose that, and I'll probably need it again. And then I put it to here, make sure the air is out. I already, already let all the air out of this thing. And then uh, now you use this tool, and according to the guy I watched um, previously, he said you get this about a quarter inch away from the bead. If you want a good instructional video, I'll put a link. I'm not doing instruction, I'm just trying it out for the first time. I've watched the another video of how to do this. And now, you get the lube. Then you get this. I'm using the paste that came with the, uh, with the starter kit. Watch that video. He prefers liquid. And I kind of Kind of see why, but it's my first time. I'm using a starter kit. I get this tool out. We used it. Just it there ish. Later that day. So I do not know if, uh, if it's my technique, if I'm not getting the tire quite in the right spot, uh, if it's a combination of that and the fact that uh, this is a car tire, but not only a car tire, it's also a, a run flat. Yeah, 
back on. And you reposition them. Higher. And it's just that easy. But pay attention to where the tire is positioned before you start moving. That seems to be the case. So again, is this tire worn too much in the middle from overinflation? Here's my new tire. It's a Como Majesty Solus 9. I forget what I paid for this thing. So here's some things I guess I should think about. I mean, there's the uh, the max load is 1,200 pounds, which is why I get car tires rather than motorcycle tires. Uh, the max pressure of this tire is 51. I'm not going anywhere close to 51, but see the sidewall? See how much softer that sidewall is? This is not a run flat. Let's see. In the run flat, you see how stiff that sidewall is? Um, I'm thinking this might give me a softer ride. So this one, one of the things will be, yeah, 87V. My new one's an 87V. But I think the, the traction and the tread wear is supposed to be much better on this one. There it is. So I got a tread, and the new one, there's a tread wear of 560. Traction's AA, temperature A. It's got the same load and the same max pressure. Which is interesting because I thought I read it said 41 pounds was the max pressure. So it's a uh, Treadwear 500 Traction A Temperature A. So I got a little bit better Treadwear. So no one's got 560 and the Traction's AA rather than A. So should have better traction. I'm hoping for a even smoother ride with the, uh, the softer sidewall. And then it'll also be smoother too because I'll run at a lower uh, PSI. All right, so now the trick is to uh, put this tire on that rim. When you're mounting a motorcycle tire, you gotta check the rotation on this thing. Um, car tires rotate either way. They don't, they don't care. I mean, think about when you rotate them. I right, usually take them from uh, right, right rear, and you flip them around and put them on the left front. Same so either way. What I've done uh, last time, the outside was uh, toward the left side. So that's, that's where the bolts are. So that's the way I got it facing up right now. And here's the outside. So I'll put it on that way. Now the motorcycle tire, with the lube and all he had, he was able to just pop that on there like that. So that part went on just like the video. Before I had the tire over this, now uh, everything's got to be underneath those two lobes. Case, try to position it down a little like that. Get my bar here. for sidewalls seem to be the way to go all right so it's mounted now the trick is to get air in it which can be a, a bear there are tools for that which I don't currently own so I got a few different methods 
but uh, point of this was not getting the tire back on the bike. Point of this was using that. And I'll say a whole lot easier than using tire tools. And I think if I get my technique down, it'll be a uh, It'll be easy, but my technique's not down. So I got the tire balance, at least I think I do. I had to do something a little weird because this thing wasn't sitting on there right with these pieces. So the other side, I turned it around so it fits in there better and the tire doesn't wiggle. So the tire was wiggling a little bit when I first tried to balance it, didn't realize it. And, uh, and so I took the weights off and started over and they moved a little bit um, it seems to be fairly well balanced now I can move it and it wiggles just a little bit but it's pretty well stable um, so I'm definitely not saying you should do this or you must do this this is just what I did and it seemed to make everything work out okay but I still need to test it so here's the side-by-side -side comparison. These are both 195-55R16s. This is the drive guard, uh, Bridgestone drive guard, that I've been using for 21,500 miles. You see, it's still got tread left. It would be a lot better if I had it properly inflated. 4 to 1 PSI is the wrong PSI for the tire, uh, at least on the, on the gold wing. Um, this is what everybody has been using, all the Caliente Road Riders. They've been using this Bridgestone Drive Guard Run Flat. I'm going to try out this Kumo uh, Majesty 9 or whatever this thing is. Uh, it's not a run flat. It's got better traction, better tread wear. Um, and it's softer sidewall, so it might be a, a, a nicer ride. So now it's time to mount the tire on the bike and go for a ride. Tire is back on. I'm going to try 33 PSI, that seems to be the pressure that uh, a Mini Cooper also uses this size tire, uses for the rear tire. So 33 is what I will try. Here I am on the initial ride with my new tire. Well, for the record, that was a, that was a smooth ride, um, but very plush. Uh, I can't say it's all the tire because I do have a, a different uh, different air pressure in there now. I mean, I dropped about like eight pounds uh, from when I was running the other tire. But uh, very nice, very stable, very responsive. Uh, I think this tire is going to work out pretty well, but uh, I've only put now, what, 10 miles, 10, 50 miles on it. So, um, got to wait and see. As I go to Sturgis, how this tire holds up. So until my next adventure, this is Redbeard. See you on the road.